guys. Today we are going to do a review for a piece that I just got in. This is Cool Props uh, one third maquette of uh, Giger's Alien. And uh, this is a replica of the museum piece that's uh, in the Giger Museum. And uh, this Cool Props like is missed here and there with some things for me. Uh, I have a couple other pieces, but this, uh, this piece is just spot on. Uh, it is absolutely terrific. Uh, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm just really taken aback by it. Like, it's really, really, really badass. Uh, it came out fabulous. Um, as far as accuracy, I am not 100% sure. Uh, I've looked online to try to find detailed pieces of the, uh, of the, uh, statue or that's in Giger's museum. I can't find up close shots of it. So some details, I'm not sure if they're 100% accurate, but I know that they had access to the piece and replicated it supposedly exactly. Uh, there's some things as far as like gloves and everything seems right here that aren't there, but it may be 100% accurate to the Giger Museum piece. Uh, <clears throat> but it's just fabulous. Uh, it comes uh, in two boxes. There's a separate box for the display case which is uh, not glass, it's plexiglass, and it's packaged very, very well. Uh, and then there's the box that the base and the, the figure uh, come in, and um, it's just incredible. This base is very, very heavy. Uh, the body itself is also very, very heavy. Uh, <clears throat> it feels a lot denser than polystone. I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of, but it's stout, to say the least. Very, very stout. And uh, so you have the base, you have the body, and then uh, the tail attaches here, and it's a single piece, and then you have the arms that attach, and they are single pieces, and then you have the head, and then the, uh, the tubes that come off the jaw into the back. Um, but everything is packaged very well. They did an absolutely terrific job. The, the head is fabulous. Uh, the paint and finish is fabulous. Uh, I just love this piece, guys. I really, really do. So it comes with a, a cert, um, you know, uh, and that's that's really cool. It's signed by the uh, the director, uh, which is uh, Carmen Maria Giger. And then it also comes with a uh, with their little plaque, which I really, really like. Although mine has a little spot on it, but uh, this is 152 out of 1,000, so they have a run of 1,000 that they're doing for these things. And then, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but uh, here is the box. And uh, the box is pretty cool. Uh, they have some decent artwork on there. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll take some uh, up-close video of the piece. And then uh, some video of, you know, with the... Uh, the box on there and then what we'll end up doing is uh, I've got taking some unboxing pictures we'll take a look at that and then uh, that'll be it but guys it's just fabulous it really is if you're on the fence pull the trigger uh, if you're a fan of a uh, of gear or just alien uh, in general uh, you can't go wrong with this it doesn't need rework it doesn't need a repaint I'm super picky about stuff but this thing is just really well done really really well done so let's take uh, some some up close shots of it. This is kind of awkward to, to film just because it's so huge. Um, I haven't actually do it on my kitchen counter. But the detail that they have in the, the head sculpt um, is just fabulous. Uh, all the work that they've put into this thing, it, it really shows. And again, it's stout. It's very, very, very heavy. And what I'll end up doing here is I'll just work my way down for you. we can kind of tackle a piece that way. I'll try to get some, some decent shots of it.
hope that this is translating for you guys. How <clears throat> absolutely killer this thing is. Once I get it set up in uh, its place, I'll take some video of it so you can kind of see the size uh, against like other one third maquettes. This is fabulous. So, we'll come back up through here. Yeah, I love this piece, guys. I really, really do. I know I'm kind of a little, maybe too excited about it, but man, I just love this. I absolutely love the size. I've gotten more into the one-third statues just because I like the size. They have a better pr presentation to me. Um, but anyway, it's all personal preference. I used to do core scale, but for me personally, one-third is the way to go. So anyway, let's uh, get the uh, box on this guy. Okay, so here it is um, with the display case. I will say that the display case is kind of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> um, it's, again, like I said before, it's plexiglass panels, uh, but everything's held together um, with magnets. And, uh, and, you know, it's winter here, so there's a, like a lot of stack. And um, I played hell getting this thing cleaned up and I kind of just gave up. Uh, everything wants to stick to it, all the styrofoam bits and everything. So if you're OCD like me, you're going to hate this display case because it is a pain in the ass to get cleaned up and looking really, really good. I may tackle it again here in a little bit, but it's frustrating to say the least. But they're all individual panels and they all kind of have uh, slots in there where everything locks together. And again, magnets hold all the panels together. Um, it's just something, once you get clean, you're not gonna wanna mess with again because it's a pain in the butt. Here he is, I just got him thrown up here. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put him yet, but uh, this'll do for now. Uh, he's absolutely fabulous. I was hoping that this is gonna, his size is gonna transcribe pretty well, but we'll see. So over here is the one-third darkness, and then over here is the uh, one-third lichen and Marcus. So you can kind of see, as far as size-wise, exactly how big he is, but he's a big boy. It's got great presence, it looks killer. I couldn't recommend it enough. Uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, uh, you guys take care.